continuing on the topic of the business model canvas. In this clip, what we will discuss is how can you make it useful for you? I have three pieces of advice that I want to share with you in how I find it useful to use the business model canvas. Now, as we said before, the business model canvas is one of many different frameworks of what a business model is. It just helps you to structure your thoughts and it's a common framework that you can share with your team and with your organization. Three recommendations for using the business model canvas and make it work for you. What I personally always find best to do is to work with a framework from right to left. That means you start from the market side. You basically work outside in. You start with understanding the market, requirements of customers, the value proposition that would work for them, and then you ask yourself, what are the activities, resources, capabilities needed for us to deliver that value proposition to those customers? I always find it better to work from the market outside in than to work from the inside out. Secondly, um, the business model canvas, although it looks like it contains different pieces, um, don't think of these different pieces as disconnected from one another. They really need to come together in one unified whole. Business models that are really successful and winning, what you see is how the different pieces of the business model interact with one another. What do we mean with interaction? It means that the value of one piece increases because the other is there. So ask yourself, are there interactions in our business model? What are the connections between the different components? And thirdly, um, let's think about the unit of analysis that we can use and apply on the business model canvas. Traditionally, you would think of the business model canvas as a tool, as a framework that you apply on your organization. Now, there you can look at what are the pieces of the business model that we do ourselves and which of those components can be filled in by other organization partners that we work with. And when you start thinking of the business model canvas like this, in fact, it puts you at a higher level where the unit of analysis is no longer the individual organization, but where it's the ecosystem that you work in, the ecosystem of your organization together with its partners, together with its suppliers, together with other organizations that you work with. And you can also apply the business model canvas on that level, on the level of the overall ecosystem and that's something which I also find tremendously useful because it really highlights for you that you don't have to do it all yourself. It's also about what can we do together with, uh, with others. So I encourage you to use these three pieces of advice. First, work outside in. Second, look at the interactions between the pieces. And third, your unit of analysis can be the organization or it can be the ecosystem.